Hi everyone! In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how you can copy the data from the queue stack that you programmed with one type of the fixture and apply this data onto a new type of fixture. That will save you a lot of time when if you should you decide to do that. And this has been asked for me a lot of times so I decided to actually demonstrate to you how to do it. This information is available in the manual but I'll show you quickly how you can apply this data and a few little tricks that you need to be aware of. So let's check my first example. So in my first example, I've got a queue stack with few steps. I think there's four steps and they're made for spots. Okay, so these are the Maverick MK2 spots. So step one, step two, step three, and step four. Right, so now I want to copy that queue stack, create a new queue stack, but instead of spots, I actually want to use washes. So, how can I do that? It's quite simple. The trick is you have to select the group of washes first, then you hold shift or click shift and click on copy. Here there's an option called copy to selected. I select that one. Now I click on my queue stack and I click on the empty space to drop my new version of queue stack. Now when I launch that it will actually apply on my washes. Of course, you need to make sure that before you do that, you need to make sure that the palettes you're actually using for spots, they are applicable to washes as well, because the data is transferred, including the palettes information. But as the colors matching, you can go through and you will get whatever the positions, palettes or colors match, it will apply to that. Of course, again, you can't transfer the Gobo information from spots onto the washes because there are no washes. The information, you can always double check. If you double click onto the queue that you've just created, open a view queue, and then you can see all the data is in, including the hard values that were recorded using the encoder information and all other attributes that I've used uh, by using the palettes, they actually refer to the palettes, meaning update the palettes and the, and the palettes information is going to be updated. However, any information about the Gobo, which was used, for example, that could be used on the spot, will not be applicable to the washers. So this is how simple it is to actually transfer the uh, data from one queue stack to another and in the process to actually convert it from one type of fixture to another. You may ask you may ask another question saying what if you actually have got a queue stack with a mixed type of fixture so you're actually not using one single type of fixture. Let's say in this my example I've got spots and beams. So if I try to select my washes before I transfer a copy of this data, the magic you will try to see what fixtures I'm trying to copy. And because there are less fixtures, I believe this is the logic because there's a less fixtures that we're using for the beams compared to the spots. We have eight beams and six washers. It will take the data off the beams when you transfer it. Let's see how it works. If I hold shift, press copy and I press copy to select it, I click here and I click there. Now when you run that you will see the washers work but the colors that you see are similar to the ones I had here for my beams. So what I would suggest is don't do it if you have more than one type of fixtures in the queue stack when you're transferring the data. You have to be smart about it. So I will show you another trick that you can use to in order to do the successful transfer. So in order to do the successful transfer, you have to first copy the data only 
relates to the spots because this is what I want to use as a template for my washes. In order to do that, I will select spots first, then hold shift, click copy, and I will use the another option here called selected only. Now, if I click on my Q stack and I click here, I successfully copied the data only for my spots. Okay, so in this Q stack, I only have information about spots and nothing about the beams. So here now, after creating that version, I can select my washes, hold shift or click shift, press copy, again choose copy to select, select click here and click here. Now all this data has been successfully transferred onto my washes. So I hope that was useful and I hope you will be able to successfully apply this method into your current workflow and actually get your shows programmed or reprogrammed or adapted to the new places and the new venues during your touring or during your festivals much much easier. That's all for today. Thank you very much.